Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to do some of our favorite tasks together here and that is to look at the Bricklink website and see what are the staff picks for this week. We do this every week though we don't make a video every week but we take a look because there's really sometimes great inspirational things to be found here. There's ideas, there's sets, there's things that may spark imagination as well as give us ideas for potential mocks in our Lego collection. So we're going to start off and take a look at some of these sets and kind of go through them and explain and talk about what we like and maybe some things that could be potentially done differently. The Frog Exhibit by user XZBobZX is really interesting here. It shows sort of what looks to be a very rainforesty type scene. There's a couple of logs, one that has fallen over, and then something that's regrown off it. So you could actually see a very, very intricate design when it comes to like a super lush rainforest vibe. Do love the use of these printed pieces here. And again, that log, and then just the variety of colors. You got the frogs, got the beautiful kind of little creek with some rocks in it. You can tell it's not a rapid, it's not going so fast. It just looks peaceful, very zen-like. <laughs> a large amount of frogs here, but overall a really cool looking looking piece, like just as a display. I could use something like this for all the photos that we do because you could really tell that it is just an intricate little thing. And it's not, there's no description here more than just saying it's a small 16 by 16 build of a forest creek with frogs. So nice and simple, but I would say that this piece, the log with the tree kind of growing off it, so it's something that had fallen and grew. I'd love to see Lego do this in an official set. It's just a really cool touch and a nice detail. This set is called Ship, but we could scroll into the description, see it's called Lego Viking Ship. It is by user Laurentiator, and it is a really nice build of a Viking ship. Of course, you could see the inspiration, the style, it matches fully the set that we received, the official Lego Viking ship set. But I definitely think that not only is it a little smaller, which would fit nicer on display shelves, it is very detailed. It has these rows, it has seats inside, and just the amount of shields and pieces that come with it, with the build, especially the building technique. I'm really interested here in how they kind of bunched up all the pieces here on the ends to give it this curved shape. Um, I do love the sail, the flag, the front piece. It kind of almost looks like a parrot or some kind of bird, a rooster. But obviously, as the Viking ships were, it would really be like kind of to make it seem tough and ready for attack. And they actually did go ahead and put a 3D model here. So we can examine the 3D model in here and take a look in detail at what the user had intended. So again, not a very wide ship, but detailed, especially with all these pieces inside. And this part really intrigued me here, how they did this end piece and had kind of the rounding off or curving of the front and end or front and back of the ship. So this is always fun when they put the models and you could really see the details very closely. Again, really nice building technique and overall a great display piece that would match really nicely with any of your Viking collections. This ancient Roman basilica by user Sir Percival is awesome. Not only did they include a lot of photos, which we're going to go through, you could really see the detail, the intricate detail on this building. And I love to see stuff like this. The user will make instructions available on Rebrickable for those interested. But just looking at this, this is magnificent. I would say this is well beyond the detail that LEGO does to the point that this is just next level. I mean, look at the stairs, look at all these kind of shield pieces, decor pieces, the intricacy. This almost doesn't look like LEGO. Like just looking at these photos, I would assume this is a scaled model and forget the fact that it uses the standard LEGO sized bricks. So it's a very intricate build. Um, it, as the basilicas were very ancient, um, I wouldn't say there's 
furniture inside as much as that there is just a big open space for kind of gathering but again look at these columns look at these arches and the detail here it does not use a lot of colors it does not i don't see any colors other than kind of the very beigey ones we see here but again i just think that this looks like something that you would not even see in lego form now they did put a model up and we're going to take a look here it is a pretty heavy model <laughs> so it does not load very smoothly on my computer but you could really even here see all the details that went into this build including kind of this great hall area so this is a really neat angle that now that we're inside here we could see the candles and you could see kind of the various pieces all white and or beige and kind of tan that were used in this but marvelous this is a piece of art so well done for this build this is something that is truly epic the shipwreck by user mark j davis this is very reminiscent of the barracuda bay shipwreck that we have but what i really find interesting is well first of all the scale and the fact that it's on a sandbar so it says pirate ship wrecked on a sandbar and you even have the base plate all around it with the water now there's not a lot of photos but we could kind of see the ship itself is at a very interesting angle and they have a nice amount of palm trees very tall it's just a very small sandbar very nice looking pirate ship and you could even see kind of the swells of the waves getting ar going around the island or maybe sand i think the white is probably kind of waves lapping the island but the ship looks awesome and of course we have the pirate flag and parts of it are just kind of tumbled so they really did a good job here making it appear super run down and i do like any time that we get that kind of building technique because lego you know has ways to make things at not not at perfect angles and this kind of took it to the extreme it looks like a very old pirate ship that's been rammed up on this island a while ago and at this point it's just kind of become one with the island so you could even see right through there the mast has fallen the wheel has kind of collapsed in on itself all the parts of it are really nicely shown beautiful display piece this just looks like a piece of artwork that you'd see so really enjoy this set here Pallets and Supplies by user The Brick Mind. Now this one is super interesting. It's simple in a sense, but it is really cool because it's fully modular and it works with your current Lego collection. So if any of you have the uh, jungle sets or any of the Arctic exploration sets, they always need supplies and they have a small amount of supplies, but this just takes it to that next level. And you could really appreciate and see the level of detail that went into kind of making this collection. It even looks like little octane type uh, gas tanks. The pallets are beautiful. Really nice assortment of things that we can pretty much add on to any set very easily. Whether it is some kind of um, Arctic exploration set, whether it is the jungle whether it is any type of garage or industrial port perhaps and even this little pallet mover is really nice i think that judging by the dimensions of it it would fit right on top of that pallet potentially and you'd actually use it like an actual pallet mover so really nice use of stickered pieces or uh, printed pieces really nice use of all this and it just looks like a modular assorted number of shipping pallets and supplies a little nature scene a set by user g j l p 25 kind of hard to pronounce but really nice set really uh nice assortment of kind of things to see here uh it definitely looks like something you'd see on a shelf or on just the display almost looks like a book stop at the end of a shelf but really neat use of modern building techniques have kind of these slow pieces, a bit of flowers, these new pieces the cur with the curve, cute little duckies, a little seagull, even some clouds in the background and kind of mountains. So it almost looks like you're looking at a 3D picture, like on a picture frame, rather than being a two-dimensional picture. But it's three-dimensional and just gives us 
depth and assortment of a variety of things that we see here. So neat set, um, definitely looks like a piece of artwork. So really cool to see that. As you can see here, it says just a little nature scene, mountains in the background and a river flowing in front, a peaceful scene. And definitely I do get that. I do get the peacefulness here. Marvin the Martian by user Riley J17. This is an awesome little build, especially for a character that is so close to so many of our hearts, especially from the Looney Tunes. As you could see here, it says it's their take on the Looney Tunes Martian, started at, as a brickheads and grew arms and legs. Now they did use parts not available in these colors, but they changed them and cheated in the studio. So it's not something you could build exactly like this but it's neat because you can also pose it. So you can use these joints to make it poseable. Really neat use of the pieces to get us Marvin the Martian. And I do love the proportions of it. Has his little backpack, his gun, the arms. A really neat build, especially considering that it's tough to use Lego parts to build, call it figures like this, but this user went ahead and did it. And I really do like how it turned out. Steampunk Cinderella by user Jonomox. This is a really cool and creative build. I do love the fact they took the storybook that we all know and love and kind of retrofitted it with this very steampunk style of build. I'd say this takes creativity and vision to get. You can see here the description. Taking a new style of the famous princess story, went towards a pumpkin look and shape for the carriage and made sure to add a lot of steam since it is steampunk. As you can see here in the image, there's a ton of steam chugging up from this motor here. And we do get a little fairy, as well as a rat, which we all know is Cinderella's friend. Could be Gus or the other one. And there's a little bit of a pumpkin patch with kind of mystical, magical things growing all around it. So I do love the build of the carriage. And here in 3D model form, you can really take and get an appreciation for what we see here the amount of creativity that went into getting this type of thing. Like, I, again, I wouldn't even know where to start or how this would even cross my mind, but I do love that this user went ahead and created something like this. This creation is called Rock by user O Gordy. And while the description is quite simple, if you scroll down here, you could actually see it says Temple on the Rock and it is classified as a mini build. So right away, that mini build designation, it is gonna have a different style than what we're used to with minifigures and such. But nonetheless, you could see the beauty of this creation. And what I really do like is the use of these new fern pieces as well as the sort of miniaturized base plate here. And you can really tell it's a temple and you kind of imagine those temples that they have in the mountains where they're kind of hidden away. You have to climb up a ladder, maybe some, you know, rickety bridges and stuff. So I think that as a mini build, this perfectly demonstrates what this user wanted to show. And if we take a look at the model here, just to get a real appreciation for the size of the bricks, which I always find fascinating looking at these sized bricks and thinking like you kind of combine, like this part would be one tenth of a big build that would be ladders for minifigs but in this case this is the whole thing and it still looks spectacular it does use one of these bigger pieces here so it's not super super small but it's definitely mini scale and it uses some really intricate designs and pieces in here details details for such a little thing definitely this is really cool and looks like super rich last but not least the build called Bun Mech by user BunQuest. <laughs> That's funny, the name matches the thing. So what this is, is a Easter themed mock based on the new city space construction mechs. So I think that they did a great job with tying this into that new, call it uh, the, the space sets and made it a bunny. It has little bunny ears, the costume on the figure holding a carrot, um, more carrots on the back, just a really neat way to tie in two themes that you would think never go together. I mean, Easter and space. But here we are looking at this and I think that it's a 
perfect example of something that LEGO would potentially do as one of their kind of funner random sets. Not a space set, but maybe like one of those random ones that you buy. And it just looks the part. So I do love the colors, the visuals, the carrots, the even the shoes with the little or toes or whatever. Really neat and creative set. So there we have it. That is this week's picks on the Bricklink, the staff picks. We saw some really neat builds, some really intricate and detailed ones, some simplistic but smart and creative ones. And overall, I'm quite happy to report that these are all looking great. So huge congratulations to all these users for putting together these sets. I mean, it's always fun to kind of think outside the box and get creative things going. So we do appreciate that. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and see you next time.